You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the last video I just did where I made nachos and cheat. Now, after watching that video, I noted in the, I noited, I noited, I noticed and noted in the video description that I should have probably made them super thin. They might have come out a little bit better, but they kind of match the picture on that. So let's see if we can match the picture on this. This is the Real Meal Pizzas four pack, uh, but I noticed as I was checking this out, it says requires ketchup from home. So my pizza sauce is ketchup. And then in my mind, I thought, well, I have, I could do all sorts of other things, but not this video. I want to focus on this particular set because this is how it came way back when from Hasbro in 2004. There's all the nutritional information. There is pizza dough mix, pizza cheese mix, pizza spices. So you probably mix that in your ketchup and that's two dough packets, one pizza cheese, one pizza spice, and the instructions. All right, let me grab some supplies. I will need a couple mixing bowls. Now, if you're on TikTok, you'll see exactly where I grab those particular supplies and a bunch of other supplies. Now, if you get a chance and you're on TikTok, please, I need followers over there. I'm noticing more and more. And after I made the last TikTok, someone actually duplicated that and made another Lucky Penny Shop account. So be careful out there. I need to protect my work. All right, so let's see what's in this pack before I go any further. Ooh, there is the instructions. We saw this booklet and it put me on the hunt. So I did some safe searches on the ones that I'm missing. The cinnamon rolls, the cookie sandwiches, and the french fries. Three more. I thought I was done, but I guess not. Mmm, it smells spicy. I like that. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? So I may not be giving as much behind the scenes here as TikTok, so that I can kind of get things going there. Pizza dough, two packs, like they said. And then one cheese and one spice pack. Hmm, cheese and spice. Here's the spice. It's actually not, I smelled something, maybe just a little bit through that, and there is the cheese. So they're just little white packs. Let's check out what else we need here. You will need nonstick cooking spray, got it. Real meal oven utensils, I got those. Three mixing bowls, I grabbed two. Uh, flour, teaspoon, ketchup. So I can grab all that. Maybe I'll add that to the TikTok. And then basically before making the recipes, after making any of these recipes, cheese pizza, cheese pizza with pepperoni or veggies. Ooh, I could do that, maybe. Preheat oven for 15 minutes and then do all the things. Pour one contents of pizza dough packet into the mixing bowl. Pour the other dough packet into a separate bowl. Okay, so you got to use both at one time. Add two teaspoons of water to each bowl. So I, to get two pizzas, I probably have to do both. So once I do it, I'll never be able to try it again. Thank you for choosing this Real Meal Oven Pizza Mix. For maximum enjoyment of this product, be sure to follow all instructions carefully. And there's some parental guidelines there. Mixes can also be used in your kitchen oven, bake at 375 degrees. Imagine a pizza this big at 375 degrees. And it does say some here, probably not actual size. Food shown larger than actual size, because this is the size. Smaller than that to put it in your real meal oven pan. All right, let me grab the rest of the supplies. And then I will come back and start making pizzas. All right, all my supplies in hand, water, Ketchup, cooking spray. Well, I might as well do that first to my pan so they're ready. All right, so here we go. Now, I'll do this back here just so that it's not all over my tabletop. There you go. Those are ready. My greased pans. Okay, I'll need a little of this flour. That is done. So we will move the cooking spray out of the way. All right, so I want you to open up. Pour contents of one pizza dough packet into a mixing bowl. Pull the other door, other dough packet into a separate bowl. Okay. Let's do what they say. There we go. So I guess I have to make both. Now I thought, all right, let me get all kinds of ingredients. I'm going to hold off on that because my next video is going to be something that I'm going to do pizza but I'm gonna do a little bit different that I've never, something I've never done before. Ooh. 
So stay tuned for that, and you will see other ingredients and other stuff in that video. It will be probably after the cake. I wanted to do the cake, then come back and do a special video like this. There's the other one. Now, uh, smell, let's see. Smells just fine. Actually, that's got a nice scent to it. All right. Add two teaspoons of water to each bowl. It doesn't say do one, mix one, do one, mix one. It says add two teaspoons of water to each bowl. One. Two. Stir contents until the dough clings together. One. Two. Now remember last video I had to make an adjustment, so hopefully we don't have to do it this time. Here we go. Till it clings together. Once it clings together, place dough into greased cooking pans. Pat flour to hands and flatten dough until it's pressed against all edges of the pan. Now I made I make pizza dough probably at least once a month from scratch for pizzas, for a family pizza night. And I have to say, it has that, it has that smell. The pizza dough smell. Now I just noticed my camera is about to run out of disk space. So let's leave that one. I'd say that one's pretty good. Now we want to save all that for this particular pizza. What I have to do now is make an adjustment to my camera. I will come back. Sorry about that. And I am going to work on the next one. So I'll be right back. I'll leave that like that, that like that, and then I'll come back. Okay, that was a total mistake on my part. I usually do that often enough where I don't have to worry about it in a video, but it's happened in other videos, so you just don't notice it till it's too late. Well, let me restart that. I was warming this up. It says 15 minutes, so remember I did that in the last video. Okay, there we go. 16, but <laughs> I did check. I remember I mentioned in the last video on the other Easy Bake I have. I did check. There was no battery in it, so I was okay there. Okay, these look like nice little dough balls. So they want you to pre-bake the crust. Okay, so that one's ready, so let's use that. Stir contents until it cleans together. Place dough into two grease pans. Pat flour on your hands and flatten dough until it is pressed. Okay, let's get this one in here. I'm not gonna even hint at what I'm gonna do next, but let's just say it is a pizza. Maybe you can guess. It's a type of pizza. All right. <laughs> Let's get this one in the other pan. That's why I can get the flour on my hands. Okay. Flour. Now, this is nothing like a pizza dough that I have ever made. There's a little black thing. I saw that earlier. I'm like, what is that? It is something. It's gone now, so don't worry about it. More flour. It's really sticky. Putting it on my hands isn't stopping it from sticking to my hands. And how this is not going to stick to the pan, even with the spray, we will see. All the way to the edge. Okay, gave it a little crusty edge there. So, TikTok, yes. I'm new to TikTok. Not new to being there. New to actually posting there. 
And uh, some people have brought to my attention, hey, someone's using your videos. I mentioned that last time, so that's why I'm there. In case you're wondering, watch the last video. I explain it more. I even mentioned it in the description, I believe. And then, voila. After I made, the fir after I made my first TikTok, someone came along and took that TikTok Made it at like an at Lucky Penny shop underscore, so they're trying to. I don't know. You tell me. Do you think that's right? Okay. There we go. Well, let's get those two in the oven. All right. So let's see here. I'm waiting for that timer to stop. There. Perfect time. Now put both pizzas in and bake for eight to 12 minutes. Now they want them both in at the same time. You push them in until the little flap. Closes a little bit more. There we go. You heard it. It's like tee, 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 tee. now eight to twelve minutes. How about we just do it for ten? Okay, and then next steps. Pizza continue. Remove from oven after that's baked uh, and let cool for ten minutes. While dough is cooling, follow steps on the back of the recipe card. I think this is the back. Follow these steps, I think it should say. Pour contents of pizza spice packet into mixing bowl. Add a one and a half tablespoons of ketchup and mix thoroughly. Spread the sauce evenly on both of the baked pizza crusts. Sprinkle the cheese packet evenly over both pizzas. Bake for three to five minutes. Follow after steps in Oven Basics. Cool for 10 minutes. I don't have the Oven Basics. Where's the Oven Basics? Oh, here's the Oven Basics. After making any of these recipes, when cooking is complete, you'll hear for it. Okay, got it. All right, so I know how to do all that. We're not going to do this. I'm saving that for something else. And then that's really it. So I have 10 minutes. I'll come back. Hopefully I can catch the beeping and pull them out right at that time. And then I will start with the Pizza sauce and ketchup. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, I caught it just in time. One minute. Let's get these pizzas out. I don't know how much of that minute I have, but I saw the one and I'm like, ooh, I better make it to the video. All right, here we go. It should be any soon. I actually smell the dough, so I know it is cooked. How cooked it is, I don't know. I did it between their time settings, so I can only hope that it's just right. Come on, time. It's time to time. And the time. I must have been at the beginning of the one minute. <laughs> we just wait. That's what happens when you're baking. You just have to wait. There we go. Okay, so let's push that one. Push that one. Okay, I don't know if you can see them yet. Maybe not. But let's just see if they're both there. Hopefully they are. We know we've succeeded. Okay, all right. Now I uh, will just leave it like that, I think. Maybe I can pull them out just a little bit more. It actually looks like this one is baked a little bit more. They pulled away from the edges. So I think we're good there. I know it looks like a lot of flour, but we'll cover that up. I'll be back now after 10 minutes. Uh, well, in about five minutes, I will start the pizza sauce. Okay, so it says, Pour con okay, we did a pour contents of spice packet into mixing bowl. I'm really excited about checking out this pizza spice. I see greens. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, so these little shades of green on the packet, the pizza spice, I thought would actually have like real spices. It is. There's some in there. I see some green, but it's more like a little white powder. Look at that. See if we can spread that out a little bit. There are little pieces of spice in there. And then one and a half tablespoons. My ketchup was not stored upside down. Okay, here we go. One tablespoon. <laughs> well, that was a fail. There's one. Okay, let me get my little spoon here. That was kind of funny. Speaking of TikTok, which I'm not, there was some funny videos where people do like what happens to ketchup when it sits and then they sprayed it and huge amounts of water came out first. 
Now that's funny. Let's get rid of this and then a half. One and a half. And then this goes into the wash place where I wash everything. Let's try not to do that this time. I think maybe because I had just... Here, I'll go real slow. One. Come on. I'll put a little extra because, you know, there's some on the spoon. And a half. Well, one and a half tablespoons. I think we're okay. How many teaspoons and a half of a tablespoon? All right, so I believe uh, after I had to stop and check, it's one and a half. I need a half more. There. Such a hard measurement. I'm not going to put all that in there. I'm just going to scoop a little bit more and leave that all there. Okay. Why do they have to make it so hard? I'll mix this up. Oh, yeah. Pizza sauce. Mmm. You ever seen such wonderful pizza sauce? I don't think you have. We'll call it ketchup pizza sauce. Well, of course, I have all the other stuff. I have pizza sauces, tomatoes that I could use, but I'm here to show you the mixes. So now you see the greenery in there. Probably see it better now. It's in there. Okay, uh, sprinkled cheese pack. Oh, actually, let me get the oven out of here because I'm done with that for now. And then I will uh, do the next two steps. Okay, spread sauce evenly on both of the baked pizza crusts. There's a nice scoop there. So that's about half and half so far. I was able to get a little of the flour off just by scraping it and tapping. I think that's good. And then that's good. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Is there a pizza song? I don't know. Okay, ooh, the crusts are moving around, so it looks like they are not sticking to the pans. That's a good thing. There, buy flour. Everything smells fine. Now, when I make these videos, always remember, I guess I got to give you this. I don't make them so that you go buy these old mixes and try them. I make them so you can see how the old mixes worked. All right. The cheese. I want to see the cheese. Spread sauce evenly on both of the baked pizza crusts. Sprinkle cheese packets evenly over both. Cheese packet, not packets. Mm, this is what... Okay, that one is slightly... Hmm. It smells like cheddar cheese. Yeah, that one's not too appealing, but we're going to go for it. All right, sprinkle evenly. Now... That's not cheese. That's more like Parmesan. That's supposed to look like cheese on the packet. My sprinkling evening is not going too well. It's making lumps. There we go. Well, no different than the flour, I guess. There's still quite a bit of cheese left. Okay, back in the oven. What do you think? Do those look like pizzas to you? They look like pizzas. They smell like pizzas. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if they're going to taste like pizzas. All right. Follow after says cool for time. Okay, sprinkle cheese pack in the oven. Bake for three to five minutes. Let's slide this. Let's set. We'll do the half. Put these back in. 
Here we go. It is pizza time in my oven. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Remember, waiting for that little flip. You'll hear it, but you know you have it just right. Close. 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 There we go. Oh no, that didn't close. Stuck on one of them. There we go. Alright. Start. Okay, here we go. Next step is to get them out of the oven. Let's see. There is a minute left, as you can tell. Let's see if we can get this right in there so you can see me pushing them out. How's that? Get a little light in there. You know, I'm just going right on the fly here. There, look at that. See how the lighting changes? All right, let's push out numero one. Numero number one. Okay, pizza number two. I can't see because I'm at a really bad angle here. Come on, pizza. Where are you at? There we go. Okay. Did you see anything there? I can't see. And then let me pull them out. Okay, so what I see is just dry crumbs on top. There we go. It's not that hot. Huh. That doesn't look very appetizing, but I did everything it said. So, uh, huh. let's, uh, let's give it a taste. I'll move over, give it a taste in the tasting section. All right, so I did decide to put that other pizza in the toaster oven. You saw a little bit of that. I will check back in with that. Now it's time to check out my fresh pizza. Ooh, look at that. How nice does that look? So let's get that. I'm gonna move it uh, to my cutting board so we can cut it real nice. Ooh, it's got little steamy water residue on the bottom. So we know it was heated up enough. I can't tell you for sure. We'll find out. Let us cut this pizza. Here we go. Okay, so it's soft. I can tell you right now, it is not a crispy crust. Do you cut pie slices or do you cut squares? Uh, mm, can't wait to dig into that. All right, let's get a piece of that wonderful pizza. I'll tell you what, let's give you the big piece so you can enjoy that. I will take this little one. All right, we'll give you a little close up. Is the ticking, there's ticking in the background. Okay, so let us try this pizza and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the one that's been in the toaster oven. Here we go. What it tastes like is like a Parmesan cheese on ketchup on a mushy crust. That's exactly what it tastes like. If you ever had that, then you've had something like this. I think I'm going to take a second bite. Nothing unpleasant in any way. But even like a shake cheese or a Parmesan cheese, it's got that smell. So that's probably what I was experiencing earlier. All right, I think the toaster oven's almost done. Let's do that. I'll represent that one to you. Hopefully we have a crispy crust. Ah, this one looks so much better. I feel that there's actually a crispy crust. Let's see if we can zoom into that crust a little bit more as I'm cutting it. I'm gonna have to go this way so my hand isn't. Well, I couldn't even get through that part of the crust. So it is crispier. I'm being cautious. 
Yeah, it is so crispy on the edges, I can't cut through it. Let's see. Let's rip it. Mmm, look at that. Much better. Crispy crust and everything. Just what you want on a pizza. The cheese looks a little more appetizing, doesn't it? Almost like it's baked in. Let me get your piece in there. There you go. All right. Now let's see if we get a little crunch from the outside edge here. Here we go. Mmm. Hot like that. Definitely tastes a little better, but you still get that sweetness of the ketchup. All right, one more bite. I'll just eat the whole thing. And there you go. Did it look like the cover? It did not look like that. But we still ended up with pizza in some shape or form, right? And there you go, the Easy Bake Real Meal Cheese Pizza. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.